I'll never forget when I first decided to give TikTok a try back in 2021. I spent probably an hour looking over the platform, the different viral content, getting ideas of what it was all about and how it would work for me. And after about an hour, I thought I had it figured out and I uploaded a video. After uploading, I think I put my phone down and I went to get a snack and forgot all about it. Now, if you fast forward to the next day when I was taking a lunch break, I remembered I'd posted on TikTok. So I logged in and I almost choked on my banana when I saw I had over a half a million views and 5,000 followers. That video today has almost 3 million views and has gotten me tens of thousands of followers. Now, I honestly did not get it then, but I was doing some very specific things that made my video and my account blow up over the millions of other accounts out there. But I do know now. And in this video, I'm going to give away every secret I have for building an audience of five to 10,000 followers, subscribers, connections, chihuahuas, whatever it is you call them in your preferred platform in just 30 days. I'll show you the easiest platforms to do it on. I'll show you the incredibly simple templates that I use to blow up their algorithms. And I'm gonna show you how you can post across four different platforms with about 30 seconds more work so you can quadruple your growth with almost no work. First, I wanna take 30 seconds and clear two preconceived notions that most people are coming into this video watching. The first one is that this takes time. No one can build an audience in 30 days. That's impossible. Well, I just told you my TikTok story. And what if I told you that just in the past week, I have a friend that started Facebook Reels and grew it to 50,000 followers in 60 days. And I have another friend that started a brand new YouTube channel and they were able to grow it from zero to 17,000 subscribers with their first five videos. It does not take time. It's about being in the right place at the right time with the right piece of content. And we're going to show you how to do that in this video. The second big preconceived notion everyone watches these videos thinking is that you have to have a personality, a big personality, a major personality. You need to get way into your videos, maybe do a little bit of dancing and things like that. That is absolutely not true. Let's cue a quick clip from some of my first YouTube videos ever. Today's lesson is going to be on learning to understand how to read stock charts. Today's lesson is going to be on learning to understand that video got hundreds of thousands of views and tens of thousands of subscribers back when I had no audience and clearly no personality. There are a lot of different people out there that connect with a lot of different kinds of content. If you don't want to dance, don't dance. First, let's talk about choosing a platform because if you've been in the social media game for any amount of time, you know that social media goes in trends. There's a new platform every year or two and that platform blows up incredibly quickly and there's a lot of really easy opportunities in the beginning. But what you may not know is that within platforms, there's also trends. I can remember when Instagram TV launched just a few years ago and anyone could start putting out Instagram TV videos and they could blow up their Instagram incredibly quick. Now, the reason for that was that Instagram was trying to push people to start using IGTV more and because they were doing that, they were giving tons of views to creators that would put out content on that part of the platform. So there's always a trend and the trend right now is absolutely with certainty short video. So it started about a year or two ago, we saw TikTok hit 60 million users and then just like that, TikTok hit a billion users in just a matter of years. But that's just TikTok. As soon as all the other companies saw the success of TikTok, we saw Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, Pinterest Video, every single platform decided they needed shorts on their platform as well. So there's three huge huge reasons you need to be doing shorts if you're trying to build an audience quick for the Amazon Influencer Program or whatever it is that you're doing. The first reason is that they are all pushing it right now. Facebook is pushing Reels so hard, we're seeing people start an account and get 50,000 followers in 30 to 60 days just because Facebook is pushing their content so hard. The second reason is these platforms are video centric. So a, a platform like YouTube or a blog, they care a lot about clout. How long have you been putting out content? How big is your audience right now? There's a measure of that into their algorithm and that means that is a new user, you're going to struggle to take off and explode in the very beginning. But these short video platforms aren't like that. They don't care what your following is. They take your content, they test it out with a couple hundred people, and if it looks like it's going to do well, they don't care if you have one follower or one million followers, they're going to push your content out. And reason number three, there's no easier way to do content repurposing. So each of these platforms is basically the same, right? They've got this 60 second vertical video that you can put out there. And the beauty of it is you can put out a video on TikTok that then gets put out on YouTube that then gets put out on Pinterest that then gets put out on Facebook Reels. There's an easy way to do this. It takes 30 seconds more work and you have four times the chance of a piece of content going viral and being able to have that one audience growth video that does it all for you. You know all those annoying people growing up that kept saying you need to work smarter and not harder? This is the perfect example of that where you can get four times the exposure with basically no more work. So let's hop on my screen here and we'll show you exactly what you're gonna do once you've decided that this is actually the best route for you. First, we're gonna choose a niche and I'm gonna be honest, I don't care what niche 
niche you choose, you can blow up in any niche. It doesn't matter if it's a, a tiny little niche like pets or even a smaller niche of that like dogs. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a big niche like side hustles, health, any of that you can blow up in no problem. Next, we're gonna use TikTok as kind of our home base here, though we are going to repurpose this platform everywhere. You're gonna go to the TikTok uh, main central control here, right? And you're gonna search for accounts. And we're gonna look for accounts that have probably 100,000 followers or more in our niche that are basically putting out the content that we would want to put out too. So I'm gonna type in the word side hustle there. That's kind of the niche that I'm in, right? So I'm gonna start looking at all these accounts, right? And we're looking for big accounts. We can see Hustle with Christians, got 248,000 followers. So I might go look at his. The side hustle space, let's be honest, it's kind of a disaster on TikTok. And so uh, in my particular case, I'm gonna be a little careful about who I actually try to mimic because I don't wanna put out nonsense. Um, you can see here, there's plenty of people. We're gonna sit there for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna look at these accounts and we're gonna pick 10. 10 accounts whose content we feel kind of matches the content that we would wanna put out as well. All right, so we're gonna hop on here. We've got this side hustle Seth account right here. Next, we're gonna download an extension. The extension is called Sort for TikTok and you're gonna to need to do this in Chrome. So you're gonna take that extension, you're gonna add it to Chrome and it's gonna pop up right here. Now you're gonna go back to that TikTok account that you've chosen to use and what this extension is going to do is it's actually going to sort their best content. So we're easily going to be able to see what content they've created that's actually the content that's blowing up their account because I'm sure there's a ton of other stuff in there that's not helping them at all. So after you've downloaded the extension, you're gonna to go to the page that you wanna do. You're gonna go right up here to the S, which is sort for TikTok, and you're gonna click start. It's gonna take a few minutes and it's gonna sort their entire content page for you. All right, look at this go. This guy's been putting out a ton of content. It is taking its time. All right, so it takes about 30 seconds and you can see right here, we've now got a 2.3 million uh, view video and this is just a duet. Ah, all he had to do was take Gary Vee's video and oh, this is killing me. I, I didn't even mention this and why this is so easy, why these platforms are so easy, but check this out. His top performing video is him watching a Gary Vee video and doing a duet, a side by side, which is allowed in these platforms. And look, he's not even talking, he's just pointing at the Gary Vee video. Oh, these platforms can be so easy uh, once you actually start trying. So anyway, we've got 2.3 2, 3, million views, we've got 1.8 million views, 1.7. Quickly, we've been able to get the content that we want. So I would do this with five to 10 accounts and I would take their top 10 pieces of content. So you're gonna have about 100 pieces of content now that you can produce that you know are pretty good. Now I need to say this, I always need to say this. This is a mimic, not steal thing. We're not gonna take every word that they said, write it down and do exactly what they just did. We're gonna take the outline, the structure. We're gonna watch the video and say, okay, the reason this did well is this was their hook, this was their middle, this was their end. Maybe they had Gary Vaynerchuk in there, right? Whatever it is, we're gonna take that outline and that general structure and we're gonna try to formulate something very similar to that with our own touch to it. Now that's gonna be about 75% of the content that we put out where we find what's working and we just try to do something similar to what's already working. But we're also gonna put out our own content. We're gonna be an original producer here because we are creators. And so we're also gonna put out content. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this structure on all of your content to try to get a quick blow up video in the first five to 10 days. First, you're gonna find a desire, okay? So we've chosen our niche. What are the people in that niche looking for? What's their core desire, what they really want? You're gonna make a little hook that targets that desire. I'm gonna show you how to, boom, hit their desire without, boom. I want you to say the thing that they probably think is holding them back. Next, you're gonna do a five to seven step sequence where you actually talk them through how how to achieve that desire. So you could say, I'm gonna show you how to make some money online. And then you're gonna do a six step sequence, maybe showing them affiliate marketing or whatever it is, where you talk them through, boom, you're gonna go to this website. Boom, you're gonna sign up for this. Boom, you're gonna create the blog. Boom, you're gonna look up keywords, right? You're gonna just show them the process of achieving the desire that they wanna achieve. Now this works better if there's a little curiosity, right? If we're just doing affiliate marketing blog, that's a pretty generic thing, but maybe you've got something that no one else knows about. Maybe you found a way of making money or heard about or read about a way of making money that no one else is doing. That would obviously do better because you've got this curiosity tied into there. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that five to seven second hook that we talked about where we tell them we're gonna help them achieve a desire. We're gonna break that into five to seven steps. We're gonna say each step with our phone and show something on our screen, computer screen or our face as we talk them through these steps. And we're gonna finish with some kind of engaging question like, have you ever tried this? Or what would you do if you actually did this and made a million dollars? Or something like that that gets the people engaging in the comments. And finally, we're going to post on TikTok, okay? We're going past this. I'm gonna show you how to do this and repurpose this in 30 seconds where you can post this everywhere. But for now, we're gonna post this on TikTok two times a day. We're gonna make these videos and post it on TikTok, which means like this video says, we've got 30 days. We're gonna post 60 times and see if we can have a video blow up. It only takes one. Now, like I said, we're gonna have 60 tries here to go viral on TikTok, right? But we're actually gonna be putting this on four different platforms, which means we're actually going to have 240 tries to go viral with one video. So the way we're gonna do that is we're actually gonna use an app called SaveTik, okay? And I think it costs, you can sign up for a month and it's uh, five, six bucks, not very expensive. Expensive app. 
So you can see right here, we're gonna use the Save Tick app. And what this is going to do is it's gonna allow you to take this video off of TikTok. It's going to download the video and it's gonna remove that TikTok watermark because no one wants that on their videos on other platforms. So you're gonna open up the Save Tick app and you're gonna see it looks like this. It's got a button there you're gonna open up and it's gonna take you to TikTok. Now you're gonna click those three buttons in the top right corner, sorry, right there. And then you're gonna see it's got all these options and we want the link to that video, okay? So we're gonna go right here where that little blue link is and we're gonna click Copy Link. It's gonna say Link Copied. And when you go back to your Save Tick app, you see it's gonna say, oh, we found the video that you have copied and boom, there it is. Now we're gonna click Save Video and it's going to uh, give us some different options and stuff like that, but we're just gonna click Save Video at the bottom and it's going to download that video to your phone, but it's going to remove the watermark from that download. And as you can see right here, this is that video, no TikTok watermarks floating around to ruin the content on other platforms. And now we're just gonna open up all four different platforms that we want this content to go out on. For example, Facebook, we'd click Create Reel, and you can see right here, I can just take this video that we've already downloaded, click Next two or three times, and whoosh, we've now downloaded that to Facebook as well. We've doubled our chances, and soon we're gonna triple and quadruple our chances of getting a video that gets a lot of followers on one of these platforms. So all we're doing here is we're modeling what's already working, or we're taking a template of mine that I know already works, and we're creating content with that. Then we're giving that content the best possible chance of going viral and building us an audience by putting it everywhere on the internet that it applies in very quick steps. As you can probably tell, this stuff gets me pretty excited. If you're looking to build an audience or monetize an audience, I've got tons of videos on both. So don't forget to click subscribe. If there's something you want to learn more about in this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. We'll absolutely make another video.